They say Friday the 13th is unlucky. But boy, I knew I was in for it this time when I woke up to find Cleo had emptied my piggy bank into the toilet and flushed. That was it. My last dollars. So I got out one of the blank checks I took from Johnny's wallet before he left and headed for the cart mart. I got pretty good at signing Johnny's name. I had to be. Johnny was always away. I know what my friend Marge Swimmer would say. But Marge hasn't got three kids and a man who hasn't been home in a month and a car with a burnout clutch. When's Daddy getting home, Mama? He flew his plane to Mexico, dummy. Don't call me dummy. You'll be home soon, Ow. sweetie. Shh, shh, shh. Don't fight. American from Chicago, united from Detroit. I have this game I like to play. Me and Johnny play it with the kids. We bet on what flights are coming in. You live in Aviation Avenue long enough, you know them all by heart. Hey, got a certified parcel for Mrs. Uh, Johnny Farrow. Who's that, Guy? 
La puede encontrar a 10 bloques de acrílico. México, Veracruz, can you sign for it? Sí. Gracias. Gracias. Sí. Thirty-eight twenty-six. Twenty more, okay? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh, I see Mr. Farrell's back, huh? Uh huh. Want to look at pictures? Okay, sweet. Está señor Johnny. The mail certified from Veracruz. It's him. I said I don't want to know. Daddy's not coming home for a while. Mommy. Oh, baby. My babies. Oh, my baby. I remember the day he lost his teeth. Some big old tool pusher flash just works at Anna Joint, Louisiana. Johnny took a poke at him. It's a pretty brave thing to do, too. Guy was twice his size. Mark, Mark, where you at? Stanley, he doesn't know about any of this. I better stop him coming in here. You gonna be okay? I'll be right back.
Top of the ninth, 406 feet over the left field wall. That's the ball that beat the Yankees. Joe Dick offered your daddy good money for that ball. $200. But there's not enough money in the world. That's daddy. That's daddy. Niles. Yeah, Niles. Oh. What am I supposed to do now, Johnny? Drown the kids and shoot myself? your daddy. I love your daddy. I love your daddy. Don't <laughs> cry, mommy. <laughs> oh. What are you looking for? The band phone. Say they come mañana para inventory. I'd like to see the books. Let me see the books. Where are his accounts due? Senora? Who owes him money? Hermes, somebody must owe him money. Bills. Oh, bills. He hasn't paid any of these? No, senora. None of them? Take these and I'll give you 65. 85. They're not worth it, Mrs. Farrow. No Roger Maris, no Mickey Mantle. All good ones are gone. 75. $70 cash. I'll take it. I'll just take that old Mazeraski ball. Ball's not for sale, Joe. Oh, come on. House and here's forty dollars more. Just in case if there's any problem, you go to Marge Swimmer's house, okay? See, si, see, si, senora. I gotta go now. I gotta go see to your daddy gets buried, right? Cause he did the same thing. Tia Lupina, go home. Take real good care of you, okay? Oh gosh, mom loves you. Hija, hija, la maleta. I never thought twice about going down to Mexico. Not till I got on the bus. Marge Swimmer said he was no good to you alive. He ain't gonna do you no good when he's dead. But she never did think a lot of Johnny. She said being married to Johnny Farrell was like a ride in a car with no brakes. I said to her, lover, I like the ride. I was wild about Johnny. The day I met him, I stopped looking for anyone else. Sure, he was a fool with his money. He was like a big kid. Couldn't go to sleep at night till he'd spent his last dime. But I married him anyway. Never thought twice about that. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué tal? La señora quiere ver un cadáver. Por acá, señora. Señora, por favor. Ah. 
start to look? Sí, señora. Es necesario. Oh. Burnt very, very bad. Hip to toe. Pero los dientes, ok. The teeth, señorita. You got the teeth. Yes, I got the teeth. For you, with my all sympathy. Momento, por favor. ¿Me está el número? Sí. Señorita. Sí. Señorita, soy Ramón Martínez, señorita. Ah, sí. Quiero la llamada de la pronta. Sí. Let me speak to Lupe. 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 Señora. Is everything all right? Estamos muy bien. Do you have enough food? Sí, bastante comida. What's that noise? I can't hear you. Ah, perdón. La radio. Lupe. How are my babies? Están bien. Quiere hablar con ellos. What? Señora Bessie. Bueno. Oh. Es mi turno. Sí, en la cabina uno. Oh, ya está. Oh, madre. Perdón, señorita. Disculpe. I'm really sorry about that. I'm in my big seat. You speak English. After a fashion, yeah. Um, looks like I owe you a new pair of sandals. Oh, no. These could be repaired. They're brand new. Okay. Well, I know I'm just the man who can fix it. And come on, we better pay for our calls. Feed the World. Pardon? It's a relief organization called Feed the World. We send food, grain mostly, to Somalia, to Sudan. I arrange the shipments, help raise money, whatever I can. What about yourself? What are you doing down here? I need to find a place to stay. Well, I can help you do that. Nothing fancy. Sure. Uh. Ya está. Finito, senor. Cinco mil pesos. Cinco. Aquí, señorita. How much? Como nuevo. It's a dollar fifty here. I'll let me. Gracias, senor. Thank you. Gracias. My pleasure. Thank you. Oh, well, that's... All right. <laughs> Thank you. Go. Thank you. Good as new. Right. Come on. I'll take it to a little hotel I know. So, are you done here by yourself? I came down from LA by bus. Four of us. Not It's right here. This is the place. This place is old, but it's comfortable. You'll be okay here. I've stayed here a couple of times myself. Una recámara chica, por favor. Una buena recámara con vista a la plaza para señorita. Sí, sí. I don't need a view or anything. It's okay. Twenty dollars. So what's your name? For the register. Bessie. Faro. One R or two? F-A-R-O. Um... Mrs. or Miss? Mrs. I think Thank that's you. Dr. Lamb over there. What do you think? Take a look. Mm -hmm. It is. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Fergus. Fergus. It's Irish. Oh. Oh, my granddaddy was Irish mm -hmm. on my mother's side. Yeah, he, he was a real big talker, too. Oh. It's okay. Um, I'm sorry for your trouble. My husband. Dr. Lamb? Oh, no. Is that you? Oh, it is uh, you, isn't it? How are you, I was just saying to, to Miss Halverson oh, that's Dr. Here. Lamb. I'm oh, sure of it. Oh, <laughs> nice we can be of any help in any way we can. Just by being here, you are. How did it happen? 
She was gonna take off, señorita, but she got away from him. The gasolina, she... Poof. What are you doing? Why are you taking my picture? A recuerdo, señorita. A remembrance. For you. For me. You want to see the oficina, señorita? The office. Sí. He had an office here. Sí. Somebody breaking. Es gasolina, señorita. There must be something left somewhere. Feed the world. Señor Faro. He always called me Hermes. Hermes? That's a very nice name. See? The band phone. They said they come mañana para inventory. Conception. Hmm. Huh. Looks like the way Johnny marks his horses at the racetrack. Okay. Mirla Sapita. Papa Seguelan. Thompson Haddocks. Nelson. What do they mean? They're all circled. Must be a code. Help me, Johnny. 
B.C. Cortez. I stayed up all night waiting for the bank to open and wondering why Johnny hit those cards. I figured he must have left them for me because if there's one thing I'm good at, it's figuring out puzzles, and Johnny knew that. If you can win at the numbers game on the back of the cart mark coupons, you're ready for anything. And I had another advantage. I recognized Johnny's way of marking his horses at the racetrack. Circle the first, draw a box around the second. Put an X beside the third, and a double X by the fourth. Firmelo. What? Mm, the signature. Signature. Correcta la firma. Sorry. Oh. Seven two six. It's the same. Our next conception. Of course. Oh, my sweet little baby. So where are Alexandria and Cleo? They're out in the back, messing around. Well, how are they? They're doing very good. Well, that's good. Yeah. Do they miss me? Yeah. Do you miss me? I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> Dos de la 
I won't forget you, Johnny. Never. And I'll remember everything you ever told me about baseball. I don't know how you got the money, and I don't care. I can turn a blind out of that. I just know you left it for us, for me and the kids. And I'm going to find the rest of it, Johnny. I promise you that. For Alexandra and Miles and Cleo Farrell. Muerto para este mundo viva para ti y que tu amor misericordioso borre los pecados que cometió por fragilidad humana por Cristo nuestro Señor. Amén. I loved you all right. Take a walk, you said. I said I don't mind. Yo también puedo, ahora verás, ahora verás, fíjate. Ya. Alejandra. No, 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 you need is called a durable power of attorney. Durable power of attorney. I got the forms right here. Morning, March. Continental from Houston. Now, you tell me the names of all the baseball players. And once I put my notary seal on here, you shouldn't have any problem at all. Now, you give one of these forms here, plus your withdrawal notice to the bank, and they'll give you exactly what you want. I'm not going to be gone long, but I got to go, baby, on account of your daddy. I got to run around the bases, but I promise you this, when I get back, everything's going to be brand new. We'll get ourselves a big old house on the hill. Mm -hmm. Some place where the sky doesn't rain jet fuel on the roses. Oh, my precious angels. In Los Angeles, todo México, la capital, Centroamérica, ya llegó a Panamá. I'd like to close this account. Here's my power of attorney.
lejos. ¿Ves? Y de aquí de las bojamas... These checks were recently paid. Cashier's checks paid out to ETK Technique in East Berlin. Could I have copies, please? EDK Technique. Who the hell is that? And why would have Johnny given them practically every dollar in his account? I should have done. I should have been riding to the airport instead of into East Berlin. I mean, I'd already sent home more money than I knew how to spend. I knew what Marge would say, too. She'd say, take the money and run. Quit while you're ahead. But I wanted to know what Johnny had bought for his money. Forgive me, Frau Müller. Herr Müller never said that. Uh, Have you seen much of him lately? Herr Müller is a very good friend of EDK. Very, very good customer. And what kind of business would that be, Mr. Burton? Why? Ink. Ink? Ink. We make ink for ballpoint pens. That's all? Just ink? 
34,000 marks, 25,000 marks, and look. Look here, here's another one for 15. That's a lot of ink. Ink formula. Ink is the lifeblood of a civilization. Good point. Thanks. Johnny going to do with all that ink? What did it have to do with his airplane salvage business? It made no sense. And Boris Karloff sure wasn't trying to be very helpful. I wish Marge was here. She'd figure it out. Oh, Athens, our city, then but a haughty rock, a wave of stone over the barren plain. Now, born to the silver, a land of love, adorned of I know it's daytime there, but it's late at night here. I've got one more thing I have to do in the morning, and then I'm coming home. Manana? No, baby. Not manana, but real soon. OK. Alexandria? I got to go to bed. I love you. You can hang up now. OK, Mom. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I thought I knew you, Johnny Farrell. I thought I could read you like a book. My last card, Milk Papas, pitcher. Won his 20th game in 1972. And about to close his bank account in Athens in 1992. Madame Papas? Yes? I'm afraid to tell you this account is no longer. It has been closed. Closed? Yeah. Since when? The 14th. Last week? Last uh, Friday. Friday? I'm afraid I can't help you. Well, well, who closed the account? Why, Mr. Pappas? To cash the checks, to collateral shipping. The rest in cash. He was here? Yes. That's impossible. I saw him myself. Well, how do you know it was him? What did he look like? Like Mr. Pappas. Like a movie star. Mr. Papas has told to us he will come back. But it is against the regulation for the bank to hold the contents of the box when an account has been closed.
So go. I have to find my husband. He runs away. It looks that way. And when you find him, what will you do? You will fall in his arms and forgive him. No. So forget him. You have more? A couple. They're a little warm. You want one? Listen. There's a little tavern not far. I saw them put him in the ground, Melina. I saw his body. I saw his teeth. When was that? Three weeks ago. Dead men do not write checks? No, they don't. We wired the rest of his money to Cairo. The checks to Collato shipping were cast here. We found all over the dikes, but none of this is Ships that don't go nowhere. I got to pay the dock. I got to pay the crew. Mr. Papa's paid you over a hundred thousand dollars. I got insurance. Two checks. I saw them this morning. One for thirty-five thousand. Papa's I love. He says, Nikos, do me a favor. He wants to feed the world. Okay. I got a big heart. I got a feed heart like a big soggy pear. So I am lose money. It's Easter. I lease his friends a slow boat to Cairo. Cairo? You like Cairo? You wanna go to Cairo? I've got a nice little cabin, the Capitan Stamatis, my best ship. Mr. Papa's is shipping ink to Cairo? Ink? Ink. Who said ink? Not ink. Who eats ink? I'd like to talk to Mr. Papa's. I wanna see Mr. Papa's. Oh, everybody wants to see Mr. Papa's. Now, this is important. You? Pregnant? I'm his wife. I knew he was alive. The moment I opened the safe deposit box, the moment I saw that last card, Bill Mazeroski, I knew. Ha! That's about all I knew for sure. What you don't know, don't hurt you. That's what Johnny used to say. And then he hurt you just the same. Well, there was no damn way I was going home now. I wasn't gonna let this shipload of grain out of my sight either.
Trying to call the kids from Alexandria was like trying to make chocolate fudge with vanilla beans. But if I hadn't been standing there on the phone, I might never have seen the sack. DK technique. I didn't know what thiner chloride was, but I bet 10 to 1 it wasn't me. Feed the world, my ass. I wanted to find out what's going on here. I wanted to find Johnny. What I didn't know is what I was going to do if I did find him. On the way to Cairo, I had plenty of time to worry about how deep I was getting in over my head. Would you like a Pepsi? Ah! <laughs> Resident? You have come to the wrong place. Miss Abusiev, you have to help me. I must find someone, a friend, an American. You need to find someone who has a reason to help you. Well, that's why I'm here. That's, that's why I'm talking to you. In two days, it's starting Ramadan. You know what is Ramadan? Ramadan is the holy month. You must come back in 30 days. I don't have that long. You see this skinny thing? This is Miss Hakim. Miss Hakim goes to the university. She's much cleverer than me. But she's a timid creature. Her mother was frightened by an ostrich. If you could help with Miss Hakim's education. We could ask her to help us. Okay. For Miss Hakim. Where are you staying? The Mina House Hotel. Please, write the name of your friend.
Bill Mazeroski. say that thanks to the hard work and the generous support of the Teachers Against Famine, another 17 tons from the EEC that's been held up in Greece has finally arrived. <laughs> Ed here has got his hands on 23 trucks. 24. 24 trucks, as of last count. Now, I don't know how he does it. And he always tells me it's best not to ask, but he's done it again. Yeah, come on, take a break. Uh, so, things are on the move. And we're going to move heaven and earth to get this food to the people that need it. It's not going to be easy. But it never is. Thank you. Bessie. Bessie, it's great to see you. Bessie, up for Elizabeth, don't you? Well, I, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But tell me, what are you doing here in Egypt? Johnny Farrell, that name mean anything to you? He pays your bills, writes your checks. Oh, listen, Elizabeth, I just make the speeches. If you want to talk about bills, you have to speak to Ed. Ed. Ed, okay? Where's Ed? Look, what is all this? Why are you so angry? Excuse me. Angry? I'm not angry, Dr. Lamb. I'm desperate. I don't know who it was I buried in Mexico, but I know one thing, dead men don't write checks. I'm here to find my husband, and I think you know where he is. I'm tired, and I want to go home. And if I don't find him soon, I'm going to start screaming. And you know what I'm going to be screaming, Dr. Lamb? What? Thionochloride. What? Thionochloride from EDK Technic in East Berlin. A man named Bruckner. Looks like Boris Korloff. Look, I don't understand this. That grain shipment my husband paid for from Greece. That ship was carrying thionochloride. You're a doctor. You know what thionochloride's for. How do you know? I looked it up. How do you know about the cargo? I was there. I was on the ship. One of your sacks sprung a leak in Alexandria. Number 2357. I saw it. I wrote it down on the back of my hand. Who is that woman? Come on. We are looking for this woman. She's an American. Can you help us? It's right here. Is this here the manifest for here for this load? Yeah. Seems there's a couple of sacks missing here, Ed. Is that right? Yeah, well, well look. 2348, 2349, 2400. That's 50 sacks, Ed. 50? It's nothing. The boys on the docks. Drivers. I tell like this is a thief born every minute. Shit, 50 sacks, it's cheap. Do you know Johnny Farrow? Who's your friend? I'm his wife. John Farrow? Yes. 
Never heard of him. Of course, I'm hopeless with names. Dr. Lamb will tell you that. Any beer inside, Ed? I'd love a beer. You get a beer. I'll wait over here. Hmm. Well, nice ass. Fifty sacks, Ed. I'll feed the world, Doctor. Want to get this dry desert red down south where it'll do some good? You need transport. You need trucks. You need boats, you need barges. Trucks cost money, trucks need diesel. Diesel costs money. That's my job, to get the job done. If I have to improvise, if I have to twist somebody's arm, if I have to make a deal with trash, then Trash that's... like who? This guy, Farrell? Trash like you don't want to know about. That's my job too, Doc. And I've been doing that job in some of the lousiest countries in the world since you dreamt about the Peace Corps. I am no chloride at. Just do your job and I'll do mine. No. You get the food, I'll get the transport. Do you know what thionyl chloride's used for? Let me tell you what it's used yes, for. Yes, I know what it's used for. It's a fair traded substance. You use it for ballpoint pens, ink for ballpoint pens. Bullets. It's used for making poison gas at. Poison gas for chemical weapons. Is that a fact? God's sake, Ed. What do you think we're doing here? We're here to try and do some good. We're here to try and make a difference. We're not in the job of running. Poison gas up and down the Middle East. Now, this guy, Farrell, do you know where he is? No, I don't. I park the truck, I walk around the block, when I get back, the sacks are gone. Honest to God. There's a line, Ed. If you can't draw the line, if you don't know the difference, maybe you should go home. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Maybe you need a rest. Are you gonna fire me? I don't know why I don't. Up to you. No, Ed, it's up to you. I never had a chance. The way he looked at me, the things he said, the way he said them. Johnny Fair was the most beautiful man I'd ever seen. And I've seen a few. I was waiting on tables at the Pyramid Cafe in Cairo, Kentucky, when Johnny came into town with his airplane. He landed it right in the middle of the football field. Took me for a walk down by the river. Told me a bunch of lies. I believed him, too, every word. You look like a million, Ruby, he'd say. You belong to me. Ruby? Ruby Cairo, he called me. He liked to call me that. He gave me a ring. It turned my finger green. You're still in love with him? I am. I can't do anything about that. He's trash. Worst kind of trash to ever throw a shadow. There's nothing anybody can do about it. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. With what was going on in my life right now, I had no room in my heart for a man like this. But that's not how your heart works. Your heart breaks all the rules. Next morning, he talked me into climbing the Pyramid of Cheops. Halfway up, I'd had enough. Halfway was high enough for me, but he wouldn't quit till we got to the top. That morning, we stood on the roof of all creation.
please. May I? Help yourself. Ramadan has begun. I know. It is permitted to eat after sunset. For Miss Hakim. Miss Hakim is very fond of Turkish delights. And we must be very nice to Miss Hakim. Miss Hakim has found your Mr. Mazeroski. Where? Not far. I want to see him. We will go tomorrow. Faro, F A R O. Yes. Okay, I'll wait. Sure. sure. You ready to go? Ten minutes. Listen, uh, about that thing, the, uh, the ink. I'm sorry. Me too. I'll see you outside. Where have you been? What's your secret, Dr. Lamb? Secret? What are you talking about? Everybody's got a secret. Everybody but me. Do you say your prayers? Come with me. I'd like to show you something. Most of these people have been here all night. They pray until they drop. You wonder where they get the strength to carry on, but when you've been here long enough, you soon see where it comes from. They're all taking care of somebody poorer than themselves. There's real charity here. These people know about things the rest of the world has forgotten. They know how to pray, and they know how to look after each other. That's why they smile so much. to feed the poor. I was in the oil business in the Gulf. I had 2,000 people working for me. I had a million dollar house that I didn't live in. I had cars that I didn't drive. And I was drinking a bottle of brandy a day. I woke up one morning dying of thirst. And... Well, these people saved my life. I wish. So do I. I'll come back.
must hurry. You must do as I say. Cover your head. Don't look at anyone. الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر
that you, Mr. Mazeroski? Bill Mazeroski? You looking for me? Bituare Alea? You the ones been stealing from me? Want threw away good money to find me? You were pretty cheap. Lassie. What do you say, Johnny? What are you doing here? I got your teeth. You look like a man, Ruby. Mm. You do? Huh. You got your nerve. You always did have that. Take a walk? Take a walk, he said, expecting me to say I don't mind, like that's all there was to it, like I did what he said. <laughs> Mr. Phil! Mr. Phil! Mr. Phil! Mr. Phil! Come on, we're going upstairs. For tonight, I had questions to ask, and I wanted some answers. I came here to hate him. I came here to curse him for everything he had done to me and the kids. But as I followed him up the stairs, a curse has died in my throat. What are you doing? Get out of there. your baseball cards in Mexico. On its conception, many Sanglian. 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 You tell anybody? Hermes. You didn't tell. You didn't. I didn't tell a soul. That's good. You think I'm stupid? How much you get? Eight hundred forty thousand six hundred and fifty dollars and fifty three cents. No, I don't think you're stupid. Hmm. You always did have a head for figures, Bessie. I married a thief. I got I up. I thought you were dead, Johnny. I believe that. 
I wept for you. I prayed. I prayed to God to let me stop loving you. Get an answer? I can say no to you. It's in my power to do so. But I'm not here to say no to you. I'm here on my own account. It's good to see you, Ruby. That's a lie. Every day I missed you. I buried you. I had to do it. I'm telling you, I had no choice. Mm. Things were getting a little out of control. I mean, you know, these guys, I, I had to lose them. What guys? It doesn't matter. Trust me. <laughs> it's better you don't know these things. What things? Things. The things I've done. No. Oh. Always done. Stuff I could never tell you about. You could have tried. You never even tried. You're too smart, mister. That's your trouble. Okay, you want to know the truth? I'll tell you the truth. I've been skimming a little from the guys I work for. In the ink business. I figure I earned it. For Hermes, I would have got away with it, too. Son of a bitch was on to me. And that other grease ball from Veracruz. You still got my ball? The damn ball. Well, you didn't sell it, did you? You let old Joe Dick get his mitts on it. Is that all you care about? No. When I caught that ball, I felt like a god. I felt like I could fly. Like, like I never could go wrong. I know wrong. what you felt like. I believe you told me before. I know it's in the sacks, Johnny. I know it ain't ink. With my hawk's head, I pecked at the eyes of Jesus as he hung upon the cross. The book of the law. 
What's this? What law? It's, it's just a muck. It's your eyes. Come on. Keep them closed. Now, this is something I was going to give you. Something I've been keeping for a long time. You like it? It's kind of flashy, Johnny, isn't it? Even for you. What do you want from me? You think, I, you think I'm on vacation here? It's my business. It's a business! I did it for you, Bessie. Understand, life is different here. This ain't a city. It's an ant heap. Ants got it better than these people. They got nothing. Never had nothing. They're never gonna have. And there's millions of them. World's full of them. They're all gonna die before they get old. Most of them. That's all we got to look forward to. Hell, I'm doing them a favor. Half the people on Earth be better off dead. Nobody's better off dead. Except me, right? Where are you going? I don't know. Wait a minute. We got things to talk about. What about the kids? Since when do you care about the kids? Since right now. What are we going to do, Bessie? We're going to do anything, Johnny. We did it. We did it fine, like always. You can't do this. I can do what I like. You're the one who came all this fucking way. For what? I know it wasn't just the money. No, it wasn't just the money. I wanted to give myself a good look at you. I've done that. You're looking pretty good. I kind of like the beard. I like the teeth. I like the house. But I wanted an explanation. I wanted an apology. And what did I get? Nothing. Well, I believe I can do better. I believe I deserve that. You think you can just walk out on me, Bessie? That what you think? You bet your ass I can. What? You just watch me. Get out of my way. <laughs>
Let's go home. No. Ruby, you're my girl. You belong to me. You don't get it, Johnny. I don't belong to anybody. <laughs> Bessie! I can't let you go, Bessie. What are you gonna do, Johnny? Shoot me? Not if you come home with me. Siento, señor Johnny. I'll never forget you, Johnny. The good times. That day from Morro Bay, Niles caught his first fish. Stuff like that. The day I won $50 in the lottery, and we thought we were the luckiest people on earth. I'll try to remember the man you used to be, but I gotta let you go now. Be with you and sustain you, now and always. Amen. These people saved my life. I wish. So do I.